Coach, first of all, nice win here over Donovan Catholic here at the Maroon and White camp. You know, first year coming into Rumson, stepping in for a legend like Coach Thorless. You know, how does it feel just taking over such a great program like this? I feel extremely honored. George is you know, one of the greatest coaches in the history of New Jersey basketball. And the great thing is he left the cupboard full for us. So we have some outstanding players coming back. They all have great attitudes. They've been coached so well for the last three, four years. So I'm very lucky to step in this spot and have such a great group of kids and parents. After spending the last couple years as an assistant coach for the boys team, very successful program that won a short conference championship, what's the biggest difference for you moving over to the girls' side? Well, it's funny because I have two sons. I've never had a daughter. But I was lucky enough to coach a, a, an elite travel soccer team about three years ago that was all girls. And uh, I fell in love with it. Um, I, they're, they're actually going to be eighth graders in Rumson now. And um, I just learned that, that working with girls is... While different, it's, a lot of it's the same. And the great thing about Rumsey Fairhaven kids is they come from very disciplined families. Uh, they want to work hard. They want to learn. They want to get better. And having that is half the battle. You know, you have a solid core of veterans on this team. Junior Tori Hyduke, who's a terrific guard, and you know Megan Volker, Hannah Scanlon, who are veterans at the forward positions. Katie Foos, who's been awesome as well. How did they respond when you took over the program in preparation? Well, you know, it was, it was great. They welcomed me with open arms, which was unbelievable. Uh, the other one you're forgetting is Michaela McGarvey, who's hurt a lot last year. She's a heck of a player, too. And the five of them are just, I, I'll put them up with any starting five in the short conference. Uh, we just got back from Best of Maryland tournament, and uh, I had a couple people saying, maybe, maybe you're not ready for that. Uh, we didn't have a lot of practices before we went down there and played. And we really gelled down there, not only in basketball, but as a team. And half the battle of being a good coach and having a good program is getting the team to all think as one. And I think we're getting there. We're really working on that. How much did the team benefit as a whole going down to the best of Maryland? I know you guys were able to pick up a very huge win over a Wayne team that went all the way to the finals. You know, it was, it was enough, you know, we, we, we kind of showed up. Um, I, you know, I'm driving down on 95 South, and my thermometer on my car as I'm driving 75 miles an hour says 105 degrees on the dashboard. So we got down there the first day, and uh, first game we got down 10, 12, nothing from a from a very talented school from Berlin, Ohio. Uh, I think the perennial top 10 team. And you know, I looked at the girls and said, "Hey, let's put up or shut up time." And uh, we battled back. We actually took a lead late in the, in the second half. We ended up losing on a, on a late run, but the girls are all, you know, we, I hear, I've been reading some stuff about everybody's a little bit tired. Everybody's been playing a lot, uh, but the, we stepped up and we were in every single game we played, and the highlight of our week was the win over Ohio, uh, Wayne of Ohio. They're a very talented team, and we, Hannah Scanlon and Tori had monster games, monster games. So if they're on, Katie Foose is lighting it up from three with Michaela and, and Megan again. I'll put our starting five up with anybody. We talked a little bit about the veterans on the team. Who are some players that could really step up this year off your bench that can make a difference? Well, we have we have a, a kind of an interesting mix. Uh, one of the, as I look back at Rumson history, and uh, and I talked to Coach Sorless, uh One of the things that really made his program successful. Was, was getting crossover athletes, kids that play soccer, kids that play lacrosse. And we have quite a few of those. We've we got a kid like uh, uh, Meg, uh, McKenna McGuire, uh, unbelievable. She's a Division One uh, field hockey kid. You know, she comes on, she gives us great energy and spark on defense. Biz Kelly hit some deep shots down there. Abby Kelly is a tough kid, a rebounder. So we're going to have uh, a great group of role players. I, I know I'm forgetting a couple that I want to I want to mention here. Um, you know, we got uh, Ellie Ellie Gibney, who's kind of the heart and soul of the team. Uh, she was the team manager last year. She decided to come out and play, and everybody loves her so much. It just brings everybody else out. We got Anna Brindell, who's a backup point guard, who's a real tough kid. So between that group, um, you know, 
there's a lot. You know, there's, there's and we got we have two, uh, three, four, a couple I haven't ever really seen yet. But well, we got Shea Sabino coming into the program, who's just one of the hardest workers I've ever had. We got a freshman who's not here. Her name is Lucy Adams, tremendous player. She's got she's six foot, athletic as can be, runs the floor. And then now uh, you saw Sophie Pascalosco hit a big three for us today. So the, the future's bright, and, and we're, we're building. The seventh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade class is coming in too. I'm very excited about them as well. So. Now, again, you got a few kids who have really been through the wars over the last couple years. You know, going to two consecutive Central Group Two championship games. What are your expectations overall for this year with the solid core and a group of up and coming players that you just talked about? Well, you know, it's funny because as we're down at Best of Maryland. Uh, and we're talking, and we get to meet coaches from uh, other states, and they're shocked that the four teams that were from uh, from New Jersey were all in the same. They couldn't believe that we all played each other. And, of course, uh, St. Rose won the tournament. I think uh, St. John Vianney was a semifinalist. Red Bank Catholic and, and us both made a strong showing down there. So the competition is unbelievable, and that's what I'm learning. You know, we, you know looks like we'll be in Central Jersey Group 2 with Manisquan. Everybody knows how great they are, but we don't back down from anybody, uh, and that's my attitude. I believe we have the best team in the shore. I believe we have the best team in Central Jersey Group 2. I believe we have the best team in the state, and, and I'm going to get my kids to believe that, and if they believe that, we can beat anybody. All right, Dave, again, welcome to the Shore Conference on the girls' side, and it's great to have you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Great meeting you. Thanks for doing this. I really appreciate it.